Athens, aloha. This is Brainwash, Ohio University Spring Break Hotspot. This is the show where we take three OU students, test their, uh, test their knowledge concerning pop culture, current events, whatever else we feel like throwing at them. Who's ever left stand after two rounds goes up against me to see just who is the ultimate quiz king. I'm your host, Bo Colt now, and as you can tell from my awesome tan, this is our end of the quarter spring break show. I'm excited. As always, with me is Jen Evans. Jen, what is up? I'm pretty excited to be having this, you know, getting ready to go on spring break. Can you too. believe it's here already? No, not at all. Oh my gosh. You go anywhere uh, exciting? Yes, I am going to Canton, Ohio. Hey, that's, hip, that's happening. I'm saving up next year. I'm actually going someplace for real. Where? Canton. Cleveland. Jamaica, maybe. Oh, Jamaica, Canton. Jamaica. Jamaica. All right, you want to introduce Jamaica. the guests? Yeah, I'll just introduce the guests, and maybe they'll grow in someplace exciting. First off, we have Annie here on the end. Cute little red leg. Annie, how are you? <laughs> Good, how are you? And how, where are you going for spring break? I'm going to Naples, Florida. Naples, Florida. Yes, which tends to be a uh, haven for old people. I get to see lots of old men in Speedos, which is <laughs> well, They have the Speedos pulled up like right here. <laughs> oh, they're pretty small. I don't know. <laughs> but I bet, you know, a nice relaxing break. Yeah, but get it's, some, it's get nice. Some it's sun. warm anyway. All right, and in the middle we have Meredith. Meredith, are you heading any place exciting? Well, you know. I think uh, this guy was telling me about the South Pacific, so I think I might really? check Whoa. that out. Good I have, movie, too. I have a couple thousand dollars, so yeah. I think, you know. You didn't I mean, see Castaway? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I have a sugar daddy, though, so. <laughs> wow, you know, that's great. It gives me money. That's great. So, yeah, yeah. so Luke, Luke here on the end. You uh, going any place good, too? Um, yeah, actually, I think I'm going to take uh, a little extreme trip this year. I'm going to go to uh, Madagascar this year. Wow. wow. Yeah. Great place I hear. Saved up. Great place. Donated a little plasma. Exotic <laughs> animals. Fabulous. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to take Head a quick commercial. break. Take a quick break. So we'll come back, do the rules, and get started. We'll be right back with Brainwash. Stay tuned. Corner Cafe at Baker Center, and I'm ready to bring you the first of three brain teasers. Now, when you think about pop, you would think Coke or Pepsi, naturally, okay? But think about this. What color would Coca-Cola be without that nice, yummy, artificial flavoring, huh? Think about that, and we'll be right back to give you the answer. All right, guys, put down that soda pop. I'm going to give you the answer to this question, all right? Now, Coca-Cola is brown, but without that wonderful brown artificial coloring, what color would it be? It would be green. Now, I can't imagine drinking green Coca-Cola, so thank goodness they put that stuff in there. Let's go back to the studio for our first round. Hello and O. Oh, oh, I can't say it. Aloha. Aloha. Alo I'm trying to say Aloha OU. But it's a tongue twister. It's a tongue twister. So I'll just say welcome back to the show. We're going to jump in through our rules and then get started with our first round. Bo is going to ask a question. He got, you know, like 10 seconds to ring in and answer. If you get it wrong, it's minus no points. Don't worry. But if you get it right, it's plus 10. We got judges to help with any discrepancies there are, and it's pretty simple, standard game show rule. So, Bo, give them the categories and let's just get started. We got five great categories today. They are spring break hotspots, beach sports, party songs, tropical drinks, because we're all over 21 here, and pack your bags. And before I start the round, I just want to say this week we are on double time, we are on twice. Look for us Monday and Wednesday, and then like another sneak preview show uh, thrown in there in between. So I know you'll be watching. Anyways, I'm going to start us off with um, party songs. Finish these Kiss lyrics. Oh, man. I want to rock and roll all night. <laughs> that was Annie. And party every day. And party every day. That is true. <laughs> I think you're partying every day in April, too. So yeah, I, I think tonight. so. <laughs> all right, you can pick the category. Okay, how about beach sports? Beach sports, here we go. Gabrielle Reese 
<laughs> Meredith. What is beach volleyball, though? Uh, it says volleyball, but it says on the sand, so I guess we'll go with beach volleyball. Okay, I don't know. I think that's questionable. <laughs> you got a guess? Hey, here. <laughs> it's your first time on the show, sweetheart. You might not want to come back. All right, yeah. Meredith, where do you want to go? Um, I'll try tropical drinks, though. Okay. I heard that was your specialty. One ounce vodka, one ounce peach schnapps, two ounces of orange juice, and two ounces of cranberry juice. Go ahead. What is a fuzzy navel? I'm sorry, that's wrong. Anyone? Anyone? You? I have no idea. Oh, it is. Let's ha sex on the beach. Oh. 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 Man, Shoot. you missed that one. <laughs> All right, um, I'm going to go with Spring Break Hot Spots. Located 60 miles off the coast of Florida, this hot spot consists of over 700 islands. Go ahead. What are the Florida Keys? What are the Florida Keys is wrong. Oh. Go ahead. What? Oh. I was going to say Key West. No. no. That's not right. <laughs> Anyone know? I have no idea. Well, we got some spring break travelers here today. It is the Bahamas. Oh. The Bahamas. Yeah. All right, let's go back to party songs. This one-hit wonder from the band Chumba Wumba sounds like something you might do while taking a bath, probably with at least two people. Go ahead. Tub thumping. Tub thumping would be correct. Yeah, All right, Luke, where do you want to go? Well, I'd like to go with, uh, let's go with uh, beach sports again. Beach sports, once again. The Ironman Triathlon <gasps> requires one to swim how many miles? Meredith. What is two miles? That's wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I heard she was in the triathlon team too. <laughs> you don't know this. <laughs> Can I read it again, though, please? No, you can't. Anyone? Anyone? Go ahead, Andy. What is one mile? That's wrong. Luke? Go ahead. Let's go for a shot and say two miles. Oh. <laughs> so it's 2.6. I'm sorry, it's 2.5 miles. <laughs> what did you say? They like two miles. Two. Luke said it, Meredith oh. said it. Oh I'm God. sorry. <laughs> Not two miles. They don't like to exercise, they don't like to travel. What do they like to do? <laughs> they like to drink. Let's go to tropical hotspots. Mixing two ounces of gin and one half ounce of vermouth, pouring into a chilled cocktail glass with crushed ice garnished with an olive and shaken, not stirred. Meredith. What is a martini? Hey, they got one right. Very good. Where would you like to go? I'd like to go to pack your bag. Pack your bags. All right. If you want to see a lot of skin, pack, if you want to see a lot of skin, pack for this Mardi Gras favorite. And they, in the Mardi Gras, they throw these out. What is it? What are beads? Beads are correct. How do you get a lot of beads down there in Mardi Gras, girl? Okay. You do a lot of bad things. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Where do you want to go? Uh, how about we'll go back to party songs. Back to party songs. Here we go. The Beastie Boys hit it big with this party anthem. Hmm. Go ahead. What is fight for your right to party? And Meredith on the board once again. <laughs> Where would you like to go? I'd like to go to uh, I'm pretty good at that party. Right? All right. Two ounces of vodka and five ounces of orange juice. Who was that? Was that Annie? Annie. I think it was. Annie, go ahead. Screwdriver. Screwdriver is correct. Oh. Annie, nice. All right. Where would yeah. you like to go? Um, spring break hotspots. Spring break hotspots once again. You'll have to travel to the tip of Mexico if you want to spend your spring break here. Real popular. Everybody goes here. Luke. Cancun. Cancun is correct. Yeah. All right, come on, Luke. you got to represent the men. All show. right. Okay. We're going to go back to pack your bags. Back to pack your bags. You might not remember the evening, probably with all the tropical drinks, but carrying one of these will keep those memories alive. Go ahead. Camera. Camera is correct. Luke, two in a row. Where do you want to go? Well, we can't go wrong with pack your bags. No, we can't. <laughs> if you want to jam on the beach or on balcony, carry this music maker. Who was that? Meredith? Boombox. Boombox is correct. I think we have time for one more question. Meredith, where do you want to go? Um, party songs. Party songs. Up. Oh, you know what? Party songs will have to wait. Come right back. Brainwash, spring break edition. We still got time. We still got 10 seconds. I could have asked this question, but anyways, that's how it is at spring break. Who knows? Just come back and watch. We'll be surfing, doing whatever, drinking Mai Tais. I don't know. Come back. Hi everybody, I'm here in one of the random lounges around Baker Center and I'm ready to give you your second brain teaser. Throughout the entire world, about how many different varieties of roses are there? 
I'm not talking about different colors of roses. I mean different varieties. Think about that. I'll be right back and give you the answer. All right, guys, are you ready to hear the answer to that brain teaser? Throughout the world, how many different types of roses are there? There are over 13,000 variety of roses throughout the world. Man, that is like the huge variety to choose from on Valentine's Day. Let's go back to the studio for our next round. Welcome back, Athens. Aloha. This is our spring break episode of Brainwash. Jen and Bo coming at you. We've had a pretty good first round, I think. I think it's pretty tight. It is quite tight. As a matter of fact, Annie, Meredith, and Luke are all tied with 30 points. Mm. We don't think we've ever had that happen in the history of this show. All three contestants being tied, tied after the first round. Tied by the end of the round. first round, yes. But that only makes the second round all the more exciting because stakes are a little higher. Anything could happen because one of you are going to get bumped out. And so only two of you are going to get to go up in the last round. But anyway, the rules for this round are exactly the same, except all the questions are worth 20 points now. And if you get it wrong, it's minus 10. Ooh. That's where the stakes get higher. But hey, I bet you're all excited and anxious now, aren't you? Yeah. So, Bo, that's all right. it. Take Give it, it away. to us, Bo. Come on. I'm going to go and add party songs. We can go back to that. Well, not really a party song, the title of this Dave Matthews band hit is probably good advice for anyone traveling in Mexico. Annie. Don't drink the water. Don't drink the water, that's correct. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Um, let's stick with party songs. Let's stick with party songs. She likes it. Jimmy Buffet, I mean Jimmy Buffett, sings this song about a place named after a certain tequila drink. Who was that, judges? That was Annie. Annie? Margaritaville. Margaritaville is correct. She's All jumping right. out to a quick lead here nice today. Nice. Annie, the Terminator, where do you um, want to go? Let's go to Spring Break Hot Spots. Spring Break Hot Spots, once again. This West Indies hot spot is a home of Bob Marley. Jamaica. Jamaica Man, that is correct. Where do you want to go? Um, let's stay there. Spring let's stay at Spring Break Hot Spots. This was already said. This hot spot is located at the southernmost point of this continental United States. Where are the Florida Keys? No? No. Oh, God. Go ahead. Uh, could you read the question? <laughs> this hot spot is located at the southernmost point of the continental United States. Luke. Key West. Key West is correct. <laughs> you buzzed in. You couldn't have to read it again. Luke, where do you want to go? Uh, let's go back to Spring Break Hot Spots. Oh, they like that. This hot spot is a capital of Hawaii and features a diamond head volcano. Annie. Honolulu. Honolulu is correct. <laughs> Boy, she's bringing it on now. <laughs> <laughs> Annie, where do you want to go? Uh, tropical drinks. Tropical drinks. Here we go. One ounce of vodka, two ounces of grapefruit, three ounces of cranberry juice, and garnished with a lime wedge. What is a cosmopolitan? That is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and she said it was such, you know, She did. Knowing. She had such like, sophistication oh, in saying that, but the actual <laughs> answer is a sea breeze. Uh. Sorry. <laughs> Very masculine drink. I love them. I'm just kidding. All right, I'm going to go to water sports, beach sports, whatever. Kelly Slater is an eight-time world champion of this ocean sport. Meredith. Surfing. Surfing is correct, and he's also dated Pamela Anderson, so he gets double points. Okay, beach sports. Again, beach though. sports once again. All right. The name of the person on the crew team who sits at the front. Go ahead. Coxon. Coxon is correct. Annie, you oh, know. Wow, you. crew team? I used to row. Ah. <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> All right, Annie, go ahead. Pack your bags. Pack your bags. Coming up. Sure, spring break is all about getting your freak on, but play it safe and use one of these. Who was that? I'm going to go with Meredith. What is a condom, though? Condom is correct. Meredith, where do you like to go? I also call it a love boat. Um, I'd like to go to... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I'd like to go to party songs. Party right? songs. This TLC song could be an anthem for all the ladies who don't want to hook up with a spring break dude. Luke. No scrubs? No scrubs is correct. Good job. Luke, where do you want to go? Let's go. Uh, I did pretty well in the last round with Packard Bags. Let's go back to that. 
Back to pack your bags. We got condoms, we got cameras. What else we got? We need one more thing. This protects you against harmful UV rays. Go ahead, Meredith. Sunscreen. Sunscreen, lotion. All right. Okay, Annie, uh, are you just satisfied with that? Uh, uh, yeah, I actually was, but that's all right. I think she was going to say sunblock. She's okay. a little whiter than me. Yeah, she just needs a sunblock. Little. I use sunscreen. So. All right, where do you want to go, Meredith? Um, beach sports. Mare dog. <laughs> all right, this sport, similar to water skiing, requires you to do tricks off the ways on the back of a speeding boat. Go ahead. Wakeboarding? Wakeboarding is correct. Hey. Luke. Hey. Say it like the minute, Luke. Wakeboarding. Wakeboarding. <laughs> Okay. All right, where do you uh, want to go? Ooh. Ooh. But uh, spring break hotspots. We run out of questions for these. This desert hotspot may not have an ocean or beaches, but you can gamble away your college tuition. Annie. Las Vegas. Las Vegas is correct. All right, All right Annie, where do you want to go? Um, spring break hotspots. Spring break hotspots, once again. Located in the northwest of Florida, this hotspot is also home to one of the biggest races in NASCAR. Luke. Daytona Beach. Daytona Beach is correct. We got time for one more. We got time for one more question. This is it. Luke, where do you want to go? Let's go for party songs. <laughs> party song. This is it. Cisco sings this song about his favorite piece, piece of beach apparel. Meredith. What is a thong song? Dong, to thong, thong, thong. That is correct. Uh, that's the end of round one. We will be back with the uh, bow challenge. I don't know who's going to face me, but you know what? We're going to see. So stay tuned for Brainwash. <laughs> All right, everybody, here we are in the studio for our third and final brain teaser. Before the turn of the century, where did umpires sit during the baseball game? Think about that, and we'll be right back with the answer. All right, guys, you have a guess ready, because I'm going to tell you what the answer is. Before the turn of the century, where did umpires sit? They would sit behind the plate in rocking chairs. Let's go back to the studio for our third and final round. Aloha and welcome back to Brainwash's special spring break episode. Uh, we've had a pretty good second round too. Unfortunately, Luke did not quite make it, he, but he was on the board with a really great 90 points. So good job, Luke, who's sitting back being a spectator now. But Annie was our high winner from the first two rounds, and she had 120 points. Yeah, Thank you. Found your you found your niche in all the categories. Really great. And of course, we have Bo ready to challenge Annie and our other top winner, Meredith, who is on the board with 100 points. She squeaked by. Squeak. She's going down. Yeah, she knowledgeable. Plus, she made some pretty gutsy guesses there. Yeah. You know? So that's Thanks, great. Jen. You're, you're welcome. Thanks a lot. And now we're ready for our third and final Bo challenge round. Um, these questions are not spring break specific. The specific, I can't talk. Uh, they go over a wide, wide range of pop culture. Rescue the fish. Rescue the fish. Okay. Now, now we can continue. Rules are the same, except everything is worth 30 points. Uh -oh. And if you get it wrong, it's minus 20. And everybody starts over at zero now, because that's fair. Oh, yeah. So let's just get started and get into it. All right. What rock group was named after lead singer Eddie Vedder's grandmother? I think that was Bo. Was that Bo? Yeah, I guess it has to be. Pearl now. Jam. Pearl Jam. <laughs> Still on the <laughs> rock and roll track here. Yeah, bye. Supermodel Jerry Hall was married. <laughs> Bo. Mick Jagger. To Mick Jagger. Bo. That marriage didn't last. Did it? No. All right. Who is nominated for a daytime Emmy? 18. Oh my goodness! I Somebody. Uh, Annie? Is that it? Was Annie? Um. Susan Lucci. Susan Lucci oh. finally won, 1999, 18 years. That's that, called a pity vote. What a, what a trooper, a you know, trophy. stuck in it 18 uh. years. Wow. All right. What city is nicknamed the city of brotherly love? Meredith, I think. Yes. St. Louis? No. no. Oh, shoot. I know what it is. Dang it. Why did I say that? Philly. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. And why like the meanest people there, too? Have you ever been to Philadelphia? I swear, if, if you try to cross the street, like on, they try to hit you. I mean, I swear, they, it's, it's not a friendly city. 
Oh, wow. We'll you got to wonder it. how they get their nickname then. Moving on. What is Chandler's last name? Annie? That was Annie. Uh -huh. Bing. Bing. Chandler Bing. I think Bo read the question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they always yeah, say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's kind of funny how everybody mentions that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you wrote the question. Yeah, I wrote him. <laughs> anyway. Dick Clark's American Bandstand began broadcasting originally from what city? Bo. Chicago. No, sorry, Meredith. What is uh, Baltimore? No. No guess. No guess. Philadelphia. Oh. Ah. I didn't know that. Yeah. It wasn't the same brotherly love back then, so I didn't know. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, wow. All right. Testing your cartoon knowledge here. What is the name of Porky Pig's girlfriend? Petunia? Petunia. Hey. I think I've seen like his girlfriend is all of about one cartoon. Yeah. I don't know how to do that. Petunia. Petunia. Yeah. Petunia. Uh. Murdered rapper Christopher Wallace was also known by what name? Bo. Um, Biggie? Smalls? Can I accept that? Because that's technically not what it is. Judges? Biggie. Yes. Biggie. Okay, no. That's his name. Give him, give him 15 points. We'll give you half credit for it. He I, goes by the notorious B.I.G. Oh, uh, well, A.K.A. Biggie Smalls. That's why we're giving you half points, because okay. you were close. Are you happy? Is that okay? I'm fine. Okay. Just check. <laughs> I think you're kicking my butts anyway. Yeah, I think you are. <laughs> what is the only color that Johnny Cash wears on stage? Meredith. Black? Black. How'd you know that? I guess. Yeah. She is a Johnny Cash fan, okay? There's nothing Johnny wrong Cash. with that, Boy, right? Before he played James Bond, Pierce Brosnan starred in an American TV show. Oh. Remington Steel. Remington Steel. <laughs> Which, thank you, Mom, I've come to watch on a and &E occasionally. She's a fan of that. In 1992, which controversial singer tore up a photo of the Pope? Bo. Sinead O'Connor. Sinead O'Connor. Girl, come on. Gosh, what are you doing? I don't know. It's so yeah. hard when the you know, host knows all the All right. Well, here, well, here's one that... It, okay, it might be kind of girl-oriented. Before Kevin Richardson became a Backstreet Boy, Bo. Who's a model. No. No, no. Meredith. He was a, one of those things at Disney World. Exactly. One of those things. You. Well, he was what he does that mean? Okay. He was like a, yeah, you know. Here's, here's the her, guy to Disney, Disney World. Yeah. But he was also exactly. a model. And that's where he met his, his Sorry, wife. that's not what it says on the card. Uh. According to the American Heritage Dictionary, what is the plural of moose? Oh. There is no plural. It's moose. Oh, it's moose. It's moose. All right, we're going to take a quick small break, take a look at this graphic, find out where we're airing. We're going to tally up these scores. Everybody, welcome back. The scores are tallied. Are you ready to find out who won? Annie finished up the game with 90 points. Not pretty, a bad show. Pretty good for the third round, considering it's kind of risky, you know. 20 points Absolutely. wrong or Bye -bye. off or wrong good answer. Job. Thanks. And Meredith came in with 20 points. Hey, she tried. Which, yes, exactly. Good, good tries, good guesses. At least you didn't sit there all silent and confused. Yes. And what Bo have? And our winner for today was Bo, who got nice. on the board with 140 points. Now, Bo, just because you won does not give you permission to hit on the, the contestants, all right? Yeah. Well, you know what? Doesn't the just host get some kind of perk? <laughs> yeah, you get to come back and tape more shows next yeah. quarter, because this is the last one. Hey, isn't... You're done. Isn't today since the last one? It's like the Super Bowl, so I'm like the grand champion of the whole quarter. No, because the end of next quarter would be the Super Bowl, because oh, it's the end. Oh, right. Well, anyways, hey. That's it. Everybody. Enjoy your spring break have, wherever be careful, you go. Wherever you go. We'll be back next quarter with Brainwash, me and Jen. We're going to have fun. The Lou, come back up here. <laughs> Lou, yeah. come on. All right. There he is.